Hello friends, in my previous video I have already discussed how you can handle null values present in your data set. Now let us try to have uh, some practical data set and uh, let us try to implement the concept whatever we have discussed in our earlier video. So here I have taken one data set which I have and here you can see in the college here this is one empty or null. Second this column also null. Then here also one null uh, or empty, empty space is present. Here also one empty that is not filled. Okay this particular cell is not filled. So these are basically null positions. Now first of all let us check what is the size of our data. See the data set is having nearly 458 rows so it is not a huge data set we can say this it is not comes it it uh, not comes under big data so simply we cannot ignore this particular all the rows because already our data set size is small now if we remove some rows which is having null values then it will become smaller and as a result data analysis will not work properly so we have to fill these values so see these are categorical values like texas Boston University. So these are basically strings. So in case of strings, what you can do, you can simply replace those empty values by the maximum occurrence of the string in that particular column. Okay. So this is one possible way. Obviously, it is quite clear that you cannot achieve that much accuracy, but uh, to a certain level, it is obviously better than removing the rows. Okay. So import pandas as pd, import numpy as np and then x equal to pd dot read csv. Then I am giving the path and then the file name nba dot csv. Okay. So basically let me just run this particular part. Now if I uh, print the top 20 uh, rows, see here you will be getting here none, here none and then here none. So not a number in these places. So what I can do just in the beginning step I am showing that replacing the none by a constant value suppose Georgia state we want to replace all the none by Georgia state what we can do very simple the previous in the previous video I have shown you how to write user defined function and apply that user defined function on all the elements of a particular column of data frame like the same way you create one user defined function def fill away, and then x x will be passing if x not equal to x this condition will be satisfied that is x not equal to x will be true when x is null okay so if x is null we will be replacing x by georgia state and we will be returning else simply return okay then we will be applying our this function on each and every element of the column college so x of college equal to x of college dot apply fill up i and then x dot hit seven if I just simply run this particular part, first let me run this function and then run this. See here what will be happening here if you observe that at fourth and fifth uh, labeled row there are none present in the college but now at four and five it is replaced by Georgia state. Okay, so like that it is perfectly working. Now suppose you want to replace by the maximum uh, uh, times at the name which is coming in college. So instead of head, what you have to do? You have to get the mode. Okay, because mode gives us the maximum occurrence. So sorry, x dot mode. Uh, you have to give the column name. C O L L E G E college. Okay. Now if I run, see Georgia State. I will be getting. So the maximum time in the college. What is appearing? That is Georgia state. Okay. Now the Georgia state. Okay. First of all, uh, I have to start from beginning because I have already processed our data set. I have replaced the nouns by Georgia state already. So it may give error. So let me run from beginning. Yeah. Now see X of college. So in our original data set, when nulls are not, not replaced by anything, the maximum time appearance is this particular college. Okay. So what we will do, we will uh, place the same college name where null values will appear okay it's as simple as that so just let me apply that and see now instead of georgia state in the fourth and fifth labeled row now the university which is appearing maximum time that is the mode is 
present okay so this is how you can handle the null values in data in columns of a data frame and this is all for my this video don't forget to check my previous video that link i will be posting in the description box for a clear understanding on dealing with null values in python data frame in pandas thank you for watching